What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, we're back today with another Mega Bloks review. Now, you guys have really liked the Mega Bloks reviews in the past, especially when the sets are weird, and I can't think of a stranger Mega Bloks set that I've reviewed to date. This is from 2012, the Amazing Spider-Man Lizard Sewer Speeder. Now, as you can see, it comes with Lizard, and it's based off of that scene in the movie where he rides a speeder through the sewers. Okay, well, obviously that didn't happen, but I found it recently here at McKay's in Nashville for $4, and I couldn't leave it behind. Check out these other weird sets that they made, like a red, white, and blue Spider-Man go-kart. Another one that's almost an identical build, uh, but looks like regular Spider-Man. Another lizard go-kart. And then we had some vehicles, and I've actually reviewed this one here on the channel. If you can believe it, there were even more sets than these. But in today's video, we're just going to take a look at this one. So let's get it into frame. As you can see, we do have some stickers here, and that one's already starting to peel off. But, you know, Mega Bloks get the bad rap for not really connecting very well or not staying together. But this set actually is pretty sturdy, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, it's aged pretty well for a 10-year-old set. I think that this big green piece on the back is pretty interesting. And Lizard actually has to kind of, like, lay into the... Um, like driver's area if you will so that's kind of interesting there's some handles there and of course the only reason anybody would buy this set if you ask me is for the lizard figure and this thing is straight up nightmare fuel his tail can be flipped the whole way around he has a hole in the back maybe like they were planning to like add a backpack to him or something i don't really know but as with most mega blocks characters you can move them at the shoulders at the elbows the wrists turn, you can move at the hips, the legs are slightly poseable, and yeah, it's just a super poseable figure all in all, especially compared to Lego. The thing that's crazy to me about this set is I literally cannot picture Lego making a set with just the lizard in it. I feel like any set is gonna have the hero in it. I really can't think of a minifigure set that just has the villain in it. If you can think of one, let me know. And I'm speaking specifically about minifigures. I don't mean about, like, mechs and things like that. Anyways, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this nightmare fuel of a set. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.